Barack Obama got hit with the biggest insult of his life that ruined him for good. For eight years, Barack Obama ruled the Democrat Party. But something upended that status quo, and Barack Obama got hit with the biggest insult of his life that sent him heading for the hills. During Barack Obama's two terms in the White House, the Democrats lost control of both houses of Congress as well as losing 1,000 down ballot seats in office during the 2010, 2012, and 2014 elections. Some Democrats blamed this in part of Organizing for America, the nonprofit issue group that spun out of Obama's successful 2008 campaign, sucking up donations and volunteers from state party apparatuses. Organizing for America existed to push the Obama agenda, which was not the same thing as the Democrat Party. Heading into the 2020 election, Democrats planned on cutting off any efforts by the top contenders to set up their own advocacy groups at the pass. That's why the National Party celebrated when the top contenders for the nomination signed a pledge not to create their own outside groups. The state party chairs of Nebraska and Minnesota explained why this was so important. Politico exclusively reported, It's a huge shift, said Jane Kleeb, chair of the Nebraska Democratic Party. The move sends two messages, she added. You cannot create another OFA. And the DNC is an important national infrastructure, but it's not in the states. We are. State parties are never the shiny object that gets funded with all the appeals from podcasts or big donors, Klebe added. Politico also exclusively reported, We can't have competing centers of gravity as we move forward, said Ken Martin, chair of the Minnesota Democratic Farmer Labor Party and president of the state Democratic committees. We've learned the lessons of the past. If Senator Sanders is the president, he would put his energy and political capital into the Democratic Party, Martin added. This is a massive rebuke to Barack Obama and how he conducted himself as president. Democrats realize the Obama era was a disaster for the party. Thanks in part to organizing for action, mobilizing the Democrats' grassroots base, the pro-Obama group strong-armed congressional Democrats into supporting Obama's anti-American agenda. When Obama campaigned for the presidency in 2008, he argued that Democrats needed a transformational president. On levels Obama never would have anticipated, he was correct. Americans so thoroughly rejected Obama's presidency that Republicans won control of both houses of Congress and the American people turned to an anti-establishment outsider like Donald Trump to clean up the mess. But it wasn't just the right that pushed back on the Obama administration and changed how they went about their business. Democrats adopted a national top-down structure where the top presidential candidates promised to never follow in Obama's footsteps in terms of creating an outside group to compete with national and state party committees.